Dr. Sam, and I'm getting them right now. Yes, I know about the hypovasectomy. I'm on my way up. God. Yeah, someone's having fun. I'm rotating on Nero. Well, usually it's cake unless we have Dr. Salmon. Dr. Salmon again. <laughs> Don't forget the spinal tap on Soyuz. I guess it's not going to be quick. Oh, speaking of which, the bar party I'm throwing together last minute. Oh. Well, happy birthday. <laughs> Come if you're free. This is Luana Del Sol, born Lawrence Green. Full transsexual. Mm -mm. Breast implants with male plumbing. He, she's got chronic upper thigh and gluteal pain. Right or left side? Both. On account of back alley cast oil injections. It's supposed to give him more feminine hips. <clears throat> you need to be burped? I just got a frog in my throat. <coughs> All these men come to poke on Luanda. <laughs> Tell us about your pain, Mr. Soul. Prickly pain, like when your hand goes to sleep. The scent that don't go away. These injections you've been getting, who's been giving them to you? A licensed personal friend, which is not relevant to the fact that I got pain and I need surgery. I'm sorry, Miss Del Sol, but uh, even if we scooped out all this infected tissue, it'd heal up looking like a shark bite and you'd still be in pain. So without the surgery, when does the pain go away? Well, those injections, they uh, do damage all along the nerve fibers, so I'm sorry to say it, but it probably won't. I mean, I'm a dancer. I, I can't dance the way it is now. You've got to do something. We'll give you antibiotics for the infection, but we can't do surgery. So I'll always be in pain and I can't work no more? No. You just can't dance. Dr. Turner, belly pain in one might be a triple A. Be all right. Yeah, uh, we'll uh, we'll get you a prescription, get you out of here. Be right back. Senora Rosario, I'll play English. Si, me llamo Dr. Turner. You're gonna fix me. You're gonna fix me now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want that blood. I got it. Call the OR. Call the OR, doctor. Stay down. Just I'm breathe. Dirty. Got it. Coming in. Guess we're going to surgery. Oh, the light. When we're sick and we are fighting. Oh, the light. And pray our burden shall be light. You gave us your word, and you see us through the darkest night. Make it all right. I will keep on if you keep holding up the light. Your mighty beacon burning bright. Reveal the angels of the night. Open up the light. Hold up the light. Oh, oh, oh. Doctor. I hope I didn't drag you out of step class. I was doing the lumbar puncture on Mr. Soyuz. Ellis, neurosurgery moves a little faster than general. Our job is more complex. We have to be more agile. Done the workup on Mr. Alejandros? Not yet. Well, then I'll cut you some slack. Give you five seconds to diagnose the patient. Hola, Senor Alejandros, como esta? It hurts. Well, that's why you're here. This is Dr. Ellis. She'll be doing your physical before your surgery. Ellis, time's up. Cushing syndrome. Wrong. What are his symptoms? Seems pretty standard for Cushing's. Uh, weight gain, weakness, depression. And his signs? Obesity, striae, buffalo hump. Diagnosis made by? Dexamethasone suppression test. Which leads you to the diagnosis of? I still think it's Cushing syndrome. And you're still wrong. Cushing syndrome is due to adrenal pathology, not pituitary, Miss General Surgeon. This gentleman has Cushing's disease. Ray for me. Oh, don't worry, Senor Alejandro. She won't be doing the surgery. She's just the hired help, who will do some reading before the surgery, so she won't make a fool of herself again. See you in the OR. Good, tie him up. Let's have a drain followed by the closing sutures. This brother's sister never dances again. It won't oh. be on account of my gorgeous patch. Pretty nice case, though, you gotta, you gotta admit. Pretty nice. 
Hmm. He could have bled to death, lost his leg. Who thinks he's Mr. Big Cheese of a clean scalpel laceration? Now, you should have been here for a little bit from her. That was a vascular kid. <coughs> Come again, Dr. Turner? <coughs> Somebody give me some juice. Little bit was a gangbanger. Took a shotgun blast to the thigh. Came in with a 10 centimeter femoral pseudoaneurysm. And what else, Ben? An alteration of the vein. <coughs> you catching cold? No, I feel okay. Some water? What is it, do? It's cranberry juice. <coughs> Anyhow, the kid was bleeding like a whale by the time he got to Dr. Turner. <coughs> ben? Dr. Turner? No, it's okay. All right. What was that, sir? There's something in your throat, Ben? Oh. I'm hungry. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get a word of that, doctor. Ben, are you okay? Uh, it's close. You want me to close? Oh, yeah. Boy, the Go to the ER. What the hell just happened? Gina Ceruti, unbelted driver. Auto versus telephone pole. Hey, it went through the windshield. Blood pressure is 100 over 60 in the field. You watch your neck on my count. One, two, three. Brakes just went out. The stupid car is so old. Don't worry about that right now, Miss Ceruti. Hook up the pulse socks. That good breath sounds. We need a cracker. Cracker? What does that mean? Oh, uh, you having any difficulty breathing, ma'am? Seems okay. Oh, two sets, 96%. Okay, she seems to be maintaining an airway despite all of the swelling. Do you have any pain anywhere else besides the face? My jaw and, and cheeks a little. Feels like there's a lot of stuff rattling around. You may have bony injuries. We're going to take x-rays to find out. Am I going to be OK, doctor? I feel like a cracked egg. We're going to do our best now. Okay. So she's got multiple fractures. Let's get a head CT, CT of the facial bones, uh, C-spine films, and a panorax of the mandible. Okay. Her husband's in the waiting room. All right, I'll get her going and I'll go see him. Oh, yeah, yeah, get, uh, get her photo if he's got one. Wow. Did you just call me Wowie? Oh, why? Come again. Uh -huh. Oh. You can't talk. Sorry. This just happened? Out of the blue. Okay. Let's get you to obey. Stewart, there's a construction worker coming in, fell off a scaffold, no, open femur. Call me when he's here. I'm sorry, Dr. Turner. Squeeze hard. Both sides, come on. Good, good. Peripheral sensory and motor are normal. There's your swallowing. Hmm? Oh, in your mouth and out your nose. Um, got no uh, open. Dizziness, nausea. Oh, I feel fine. I just can't. I just can't walk. Okay. All the perfect things. Ben, um, you know, offhand, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> You're gonna need some workup and a consult. I'm sorry. Hmm? I know. Bruce. Broussard. Lionel Broussard. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I'll see if he's here. Okay. You know, we're gonna get you through this, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Okay, pal? Mm-hmm. They said that Dr. Broussard is in Machu Picchu until the end of the month, but that Dr. McKenna will be right down. You made it clear you were talking about Dr. Turner. Yes, but whatever I said wasn't going to get the doctor back from Peru. Now, I am talking about hurrying McKenna, and please don't cop an attitude, Mandy. Not today. You waiting on the neurosurgeon? Yeah, what do you want? Uh, I got thumbs back on Mrs. Rooney. 
bilateral mandibular fracture on the fourth three, and a comminuted fracture of the nasal bones and septum. Uh, you've been reading up on plastics. Yeah, that's interesting stuff. Uh, you just want to inflate the chests of the rich and famous. Or I want to improve the quality of life. Case in point, Mrs. Cerruti. Her husband had a picture of their trip to Yosemite. Oh, that's not flattering. <laughs> Dr. Stewart, she's a beast. So instead of reconstructing her the way it was, we move her mandible back so that her jaw doesn't jut out. We bring her maxilla forward to bring out her cheekbones. And since her nose is crushed, we fix it minus the beak and bump. Well, she'll look better, but you can't be sure it'll improve her quality of life. Yeah, well, I could be reasonably sure. She told me it would. She mentioned or you asked? I asked. It's not a good idea suggesting cosmetic surgery to a patient. They may not be insecure about their looks until it's mentioned. <laughs> So you can make me Grace Kelly, huh? <laughs> well, given your fractures with some uh, creative resetting, you could benefit cosmetically, uh, if you're interested. I think I am. Where's Mr. Cerruti? He went home to fetch a larger photo. Okay, when he gets back, we'll discuss it. Excuse me. Crash my junker and come out a beauty queen. What luck, huh? <laughs> One in a million. Uh, Dr. McKenna, I'm Raleigh Stewart. Nice to meet you. Can you give me a little room? Yeah. Okay. Grab a hold. Give a good squeeze. He had a, a normal neuro exam ten minutes ago. You start steroids? I was just about to. How about a CT? Uh, not yet. Well, that would have been helpful. Okay, that's where we're going to go next. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No. Not right now, Dr. Turner. Well, look, look, how about a differential diagnosis? Well, that's a little premature. Brain tumor, right? The brain tumor. But don't think that until we get a CT. And then we need to get you admitted. What? No. Dr. No. Turner. Dr. Turner? <laughs> no. Dr. Turner. You need to be admitted until we find out what's wrong with you. Now, I think that's fairly standard. Don't you? Ben, I'm going to take you down to the uh, CT myself, OK? All right. One minute. Um, yeah. He might try being slightly deferential. He is the chief of surgery. Does he want deferential or good care? Well, how about both? And you try throwing in a little honesty, like what you think he might have. Maybe a brain tumor or a stroke or multiple sclerosis? None of which we need to discuss in front of him until we get a CT. I don't like you implying that I'm a schmuck because his CT wasn't done according to your schedule. Mm, I didn't imply anything. It just would have been nice if the study had been done. Because you got something more important to do, huh? Don't you realize that he is... Chief of surgery, you mentioned it. And he's watching us right now. See you in CT. Dr. Simon does take his time. <laughs> He'd take a lot less if he didn't waste it yelling at people. The patient had a rocky ride. Uh, I'm going to need a blood gas, CBC. Honey, post up orders are pre-printed. Just sign right there. What's she trying to do to my patient, Helen? Trying to order blood work? Just sign the orders, Ellis. This isn't your private surgery lab. It's just that Mr. Alejandro's has lost a lot of blood. No more than usual? Not according to my reading. Any other wisdom you got from your reading? To keep an eye on the serum sodium in case a patient develops diabetes insipidus, it develops in one-third of pituitary patients. Not in mine. Well, I'd heard that. Ellis, we... shush. Just do what the nurses tell you and write out your rotation. Just to be on the safe side, I still think we should do a specific gravity on the urine. I think he didn't get the order, so we won't. There are such things as congenital anomalies, but not with sudden systematic onset. We're not going to even go there. You should be in a chair. Good thing. Yeah. We don't even know what we're looking at. Where? What? The uh, base of the frontal lobe. Yeah. Could be an artifact, a flaw in the image. Or a brain. Maybe I'm a Ninjoman plaque. But that's the worst case.
-hmm. Very premature to discuss. Mm -hmm. We'll repeat the scan tomorrow. Can you not just answer the question? If it's still there tomorrow, then yes. You'll need it removed. Okay, I know how you're thinking of doing this procedure, and your thinking is wrong. Dr. Turner, you have a bed in ICU. I'd like to take you there in a wheelchair. You have no idea what I'm thinking. And we don't know if there'll be a procedure at all. So just back off. Look, I don't want to see him lose motor skills because you like to drill through people's heads. It's called a craniotomy, and it's standard. Uh, he's a surgeon. Dr. Frontal endoscopic approach keeps you out of the brain and avoids all the morbidity of a craniotomy. Since when are you a neurosurgeon? Well, I've done plenty of work around the skull base. Well, I specialized in neurosurgery, so until you do, stay out of the nervous system. The craniotomy, the numbers on perfect functional outcome are 40 to 50 percent. Now, he deserves a better shot than that. He'll get the best shot available the minute he has a condition that isn't theoretical. Now, Dr. Stewart, I don't know if you think I'm inexperienced or too young, or maybe you don't like the idea of a woman doing surgery. Please. Whatever your problem is, I'm through being bullied by you. Oh, yeah, well, maybe he needs another doctor. Well, maybe you need to leave. Well, we... Yeah, I think we should let her do her job too, Ben. The minute we're satisfied that she's doing it right. Well, now I'm satisfied. Please, go back to work. Please. Okay, let's get back to the ER. You keep me posted. Mm, will do. Forty to fifty percent is arguable. Look, I hope he didn't get you in a panic. You may have nothing. I don't know why you can't talk. But we're gonna find out. You need the mandible back to make the jawline less prominent, like that. I'm not seeing much difference. Uh, you will. I'll bring the maxilla forward a full centimeter. To bring out the cheekbones. Like Michelle Pfeiffer. Now, what about the nose? I'll take down the bump and round out the tip. Collagen injections to make your lips fuller. I like that. And finally, we'll bring the hairline down just like so. And that way for real? Pretty close. Who is that? Stranger. It's a gorgeous stranger. You'll get to know soon enough. So I, uh, I guess, uh, it's just gonna happen. I mean, it's a done deal. Yeah, we'll check the surgery schedule, see if we can get you in tomorrow. Maybe the day after. It's oh, awfully quick. The sooner the better, baby. Look, I, I better head to the office a couple hours. You, you okay with that? Excuse me a minute. Uh, Mr. Rudy, are you all right? I know today was an awful lot to digest. Let me ask you something. For a photo, uh, the real one, what'd you think when you saw it? I'm not sure what you're asking. Ugly, pretty, what? I looked at it clinically. Like a house you're gonna tear down or rebuild? That's one way of putting it. Well, I just saw my wife. I like that picture. It's a good picture. I gotta go. I, I don't keep an eye out. My idiot workers rob me blind. I've been paging you. Where have you been? On the ward. How's Mr. Alejandro's? Oh, peeing a lot. 
That doesn't say D.I. to you? Well, Dr. Salmon will say he's just draining out what the anesthesiologist gave him. We have a celebrity and number two needs a physical. Get to it. Dr. McKenna, we have a problem. Dr. Turner, since Dr. Ellis is the only intern available, do you have any problems with her doing your physical? Oh. What am I doing? Well, you need a physical, oh. so you don't have much choice. Oh, yes, it's got to be complete. Oh. You know, look, Dr. Turner, oh. special dispensations will compromise your care. You are a patient in this hospital, and you will be treated like one. Well, you're damn right I'm strict. Now, what's it going to be? Dr. Turner, we don't have to do anything that you're not comfortable with. Huh. No way. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Should we start with the uh, hard, difficult, difficult stuff first? Mm -hmm. Hernia? All right, go. Hernia first, please. Please, thanks. <clears throat> Great. Yeah, uh, here we go. Sorry, sorry, cold hands. Please turn your head and cough. Typing out your will. <clears throat> Request for a leave of absence. Yeah, of course. You know, I'd be happy to handle trauma. You know, look, I was a terrible patient when I got sick. It's very bossy, it's very strident on account of being terrified and trying to keep control over things. I've been doing the same with your situation. You know, my fighting with McKenna is probably causing you anxiety, and I want to apologize. I hope not. You're worried. I'm a little worried. But it's for a selfish reason. I, uh... I, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't want to lose one as good as you. Looks like you're about to have company. I'll be right behind you. You page? Off your order, Alejandro's urine output was greater than 100 cc's in the last hour. Did you get a specific gravity? 1.0. Let's give him an amp of DDAVP. No drugs without the doctor's orders. 1.0 means diabetes insipidus. Whatever you think it means, Dr. Salmon would just tell you to increase the IVs. 
You gonna get the horns, honey. It's Wagner night at the bowl. Yes, I need you to page Dr. Salmon to the neuro ICU. You're working an awfully long shift, aren't you? Lucky me, I'm pulling a double. And I made sure all your patients were divvied up among the other attendings. What about the transactional neo? Dull full. Dull full? No. Uh, del, del Sol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Physically fine, but a little depressed. We got a psych consult. Where? Oh. The death of his dancing career. Hey, we're all keeping a good thought for you, Dr. Turner. Yeah. You've got our prayers. be over real soon. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll, uh, we'll let you get some sleep. Um, on or off? Oh. Dr. Salmon? Courtney Ellis. I'm sorry to bother you, but Mr. Alejandro's put out a half a liter of urine in the last two hours with a specific gravity of 1.0. I'm sending an osmolality, and That's I think... because the anesthesiologist trying to drown him. You send it, you pay for it. Okay, I, I won't send an osmolality, but I really think DDAVP... Get it, Ellis. But why not? Because he doesn't need it. Please hang up the phone, turn up the IVs. Increase IVs. He's been doing this day or so longer than you. Come to think of it, so have I. Oh, Dr. Stewart. Pete was just playing nursemaid. He's fetching some stuff from home. I'm gonna head out, okay? So, how are we feeling? Mm. Decent. So we still scheduled for a day after tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 7 a.m. <sighs> Gina, have you talked to Pete about this surgery at all? Oh, I think that's all we've talked about. Me missing work and how he'll have to take time off. No, I, I meant his attitude about you having the surgery. Mm. Something's kind of crossed a little sideways, huh? Yeah, I think he's uncomfortable. Well, he'll be fine once it's done. He doesn't respond well to change. Well, you know, the changes may only start with your appearance. Then people may treat you differently. I'm ready for the cat calls. Miss Pete? If there were actually cat calls... I would like to think Pete could adapt. Well, maybe you shouldn't have the surgery until you know for sure. I'll have a conversation with him, but he'll fool to me because he's in love. And I am too. Lucky man. Lucky me. You sleep good. Orders, but we don't have enough lines to deliver the fluids. This is an ICU, and you need your hand held to start an IV? He's blowing the ones I've tried on account of his peripheral veins being shot. That's a condition of Cushion's disease. Or didn't you get that in your reading? We'll do a central line. No, you can't do that. Dr. Salmon has a standing order, no central lines. Why on earth? He says mucking with the central venous system increases bleeding at the operation site. Where does he get that from? I guess from experience, but if you need more clarification, bring him up again. I'm sure he's probably in bed by now. Set that phone down and talk from the other side of the room, because his screaming going to blow your head off. Are you aware that I have precise standing orders to prevent you from undermining the post 
Pop care? Yes, I know about the standing orders. He's got severe fluid depletion. Do you need me to come in and start the IV for you? No, of course I don't need you to come in and start an IV for me. Give me a tourniquet and a couple of Angie casts. IV supplies are in the lab. I don't mind that you're not being helpful, but you don't get any sense that Mr. Alejandro's is unstable? I trust Dr. Simon. The only sense I get is of a green intern overreacting. Dr. Turner's calling. Will you please go get the IV supplies for Mr. Alejandro's? You all right, Dr. Turner? You think you know what you have? Yeah, I'm blaming you, Liza. And you, Puma. With brain metastases. A kidney tumor with brain metastases? Mm hmm How do you think that? Oh, back pain. Right here. Huh. Is the pain sharp or dull? More mm dull. -hmm. Radiating pain? Oh. Mm -hmm. I haven't noticed any recent weight loss. Well, call Dr. McKenna. Get a CT. Now. You know, this is sort of a lumpy mattress, Dr. Turner. Could have just been a, a back spasm. Excuse me. You don't really have any of the symptoms for a kidney tumor, and you're about 20 years too young. Oh, so now I'm paranoid. No, I didn't say you were paranoid. But if I call Dr. McKenna. 20. If I call Dr. McKenna, she'll ask me all the same questions I just asked you, and when all the answers are no, she'll tell me to look for an external cause for the flank pain. I convinced myself I had every disease in the textbook. Not quite the same. No, it's it's not the same. I'm sorry. Blood pressure's falling. And you're surprised? I didn't say I was surprised, just that it's falling. So did you do anything to stop it? Well, I would have increased his fluids if I'd hit another line. So now we agree there's a problem. Right now, it's hard to argue. So now what? I'm just supposed to sit here and watch him die? Well, well why don't we take it? You know, screw it. Get a central line tray and give him an amp of DDAVP. Dr. Ellis, don't call him again. We'll do the line and pour him some fluids. Execute the order. standing order, and yes, I recall you telling me not to give DDAVP. The patient's blood pressure is 90, and he's losing 200 cc's of fluid every hour. There's no way we can keep up. How many times do we have to go? Listen to me, Dr. Salmon. You are home in bed while I am here, watching a man die from a post-operative complication that I predicted and could have treated 16 hours ago. Watch your tone. No, quiet, please. I am giving DDAVP and I'm putting in a central line. The sole purpose of this phone call was to inform you, not to ask for your permission. Morning. What? <sighs> Dr. Turner, you shouldn't be out of bed. You mean, huh? Urine output's coming down. No, I think we'll be okay. Please, get back to bed. He's doing a little better. Great. That way, when Salmon comes to can me, we're going out on a win. We hope.
you do last night? Stable vital, slept through. Yeah. You know what? I'll let him sleep. I can use the rest. You know, I was just, uh, just wondering, Dr. Stewart, you know, you seem a little, uh, less than enthusiastic about operating on Mr. Cerruti. Well, Jeffrey, people, relationships, they're like an ecosystem. Sometimes if you pollute one element, it's where the whole thing out of whack. Or she'll just look better and they'll get on with their lives. Right. And there's that, too. <laughs> Thanks for the page. So what's the story? Same as yesterday. <sighs> Dr. Turner, would you mind waiting in the hall just for a minute? Why are you shutting him up? Because we're out of the hypothetical now. And I won't have any more bickering in front of my patient. So he's going to surgery. And if I'm doing it, he's having a craniotomy. I'd be happy to leave any procedural choice to Turner. But do you honestly think that your approach will get a better outcome? Yeah, it may. This is not your specialty. And he is your friend. Are you the right person to make this call? put you on the surgery schedule for tomorrow morning. And uh, we had a conversation. Craniotomy is your best bet. You want to rub in? Uh, no, we discussed my scrubbing in, and it's best if she's got her own team. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So uh, I got to get back to the OR. Uh, I'm checking with you later. You're good hands. Take good care of my friend. Well. Should I tell you a few things about craniotomies? Hmm? Honey, Mr. Alejandro just woke up. Thought you might like to know. How's his vitals? All stable. Good morning, Mr. Alejandro. How you feeling? Yeah? Well, you're doing okay. You and me need a word. The first house, Sleeping Beauty. Awake. Senor Alejandros, como esta? Excelente. Un momento, por favor. I guess he responded to the DDAVP. And there were no complications from the central line. He helped us catch up with his volume. And it brought his BP up. Dr. Ellis? Should I recheck the serum Osmo before we cut back on his IVs? Good idea. And uh, weaning parameters are good. I think he's ready to be extubated. It's never a good policy for interns to scream at attending faculty. Dr. Salmon, I did what I had to do, and I'd do it again. I see. Well. Good work. You'd make a fine neurosurgeon. Consider it. Did you want to excavate Mr. Alejandro's? He's your patient. You do it. Hey, Miss Del Sol. How are you doing? Leg sore. Guess that's what happens when you stab yourself. Okay, well, that'll go away in a couple of days. Dr. Turner, who you met yesterday, um, 
wanted me to give you this note. Can't come himself? He's taken ill. I think you should read it. I don't have my spectacles. Dear Miss Del Sol, for reasons that aren't important, I've been provided a new perspective on your situation, and I realized that yesterday, when I told you you'd never dance again, I didn't treat you very seriously. I was both unthinking and insensitive. It's all right. If dancing's what you do and who you are, then it must be very difficult to look forward and imagine life without it. Please accept my apology. Sincerely yours, Dr. Benjamin Turner, MD. Is the man dying? That's sort of the unimportant part. Well, he's a sweet child. But tell them it's time I hung it up anyway. You'll miss it? Oh, God, yes. What kind of music do you dance to? Anything funky, baby. I'd love to get my groove on. Dr. Stein to radiation oncology, please. Dr. Stein to radiation oncology. Well, I'm gonna split, honey. Dolores is on. <laughs> Couldn't light the candle on the count of the oxygen. Happy birthday, baby. Thanks. Wondering if you'd like to share a vending machine cupcake. Oh, no, no, thank you. Birthday yesterday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thanks. Thanks. If you need anything, just 